So, I get the werewolf part, but where's the apocalypse? They mentioned about pollution, etc, etc. But they didn't mention anything about... We're too late. Engine is already here. And they're burning everything in sight! Those monsters! What do we do? Stop the truck. What are you gonna... What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Zidana. Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. Where is my daughter? How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. I'll take days to heal. Days? Things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I was worried about Adana. When I heard the Cairn was being targeted, I had to come back for her. You know I couldn't stay. Not after what I did to Rafiq. I told you that your rightful place was at my side. That what you had done could be forgiven. No. You chose to abandon us. Me, the Cairn, your daughter. Where is she, Rod? Where is she? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest Indran site in the Pacific Northwest. The best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the exo during the attack, she... Drove us back. Tank girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Enron just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's how? There's no way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety, no matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike.
Tell me about Ava. How's she doing? When you went into exile, she succeeded you as my lieutenant. She was ready and willing, but it was hardly a smooth transition. I was forced to make some concessions. I can Define imagine. Concessions. There are a lot of humans in the cairn. A lot more than when I was here. Ava's lamb to mankind. I'd heard about her group of activists. They're actually getting a lot of attention at the moment. Not sure if that's the best thing for the pack. That's what I thought too. At first. So? What do you mean? For the longest time, I never trusted humans. But then I saw how they fought. How they stood strong for what they believed in. I saw their potential. Even I had to admit that Ava was right. The humans have been stalwart allies in our fight for Gaia. And now you've seen firsthand what Indran is doing to us. Our ranks grow thinner every year. Ava's humans aren't afraid to put their lives on the line for the planet. What more could I ask for? What do you know? Tell me about Adana. How have you trained her? Just as I promised you. I trained her to be a warrior. I taught her everything she needed to fight. To defend herself. So that we wouldn't see a repeat of what happened to Ludmilla. Has she gone through her first change yet? Not yet. Oh. And despite all my training, she never showed much inclination toward the wild side of things. She preferred to spend her time with Ava, studying humans, technology, and infiltration. To walk in Ludmilla's footsteps. That's right. And though it's not how I wanted to do things, it certainly paid off. She has proved to be an exceptional spy. Rest assured, though, Adana is just as much Garu as you or me. Her first change will come in time, no matter what path she chooses to take. So there could be a sequel to this game. Until I'm healed, there's no way we can make a move on the training center. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get there? Days? Weeks. If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. Alright. I'll do it for you. And for my daughter. Hey, Kahal. It's good to see your face again. My Hi. son. They killed my son. He's lost a lot of blood. I don't know if he'll make it through the night. Has anyone told his wife yet? She... She's gone. She bled out just before they shot him. This is madness. Ridiculous madness. People, how could they? Why are they doing this? That was two years ago now. Seems like they never got Your over. My mother would have been so proud. Following in her mother's footsteps. Let's hope she doesn't fulfill that prophecy again. Mila used to say the same thing. I don't know if it's wise to do this. The cairn is in a bad way. Dusk, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to keep clear. You really thought I'd leave you behind like that? You should know me better than that by now. Besides, looks like you need all the help you can get. I really don't want to lose my front row tickets to the Cajal show. Thanks, Dusk. Okay, yeah, no. Thanks sounds real weird coming out of you. 
put that shit away. Well, if you really want to help. I'll go look after the injured. I rang the weather stormers and asked them to lend us a hand, too. Don't worry about me. You just do what you gotta do. Okay. Thanks. This isn't his fight, but... Good to see you made it through okay. Thanks in no small part to you. I'm glad you came back, all. Lambda Mankind really helped us out, too. We're lucky to have them with us. So the humans are helping. Adana was only a few days old when Ludmilla wrote this letter. <sighs> Do I really want to see this? Magnus didn't even know how to fight. He was a spirit healer, a caretaker of children. Endrin doesn't show anyone mercy, and we won't either. It's been many a year since I last felt your presence. What the heck is of Gaia? It's been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your care needs you, and the wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And he is winning. I won't let the that happen. The takes many forms, but the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. How? Tarker's mill looks nothing like it did when I left. Yet you still protected the forest with everything you had. Your strength, your aura. What happened to them? As Gaia weakens, so too do I. The Ga Inglings, the Jacklings, the Gafflings. They all suffer in kind. The Eater of Souls tries to corrupt them. But they're minor spirits. They are every bit as important as you or I. But in my weakness, I must look on, powerless to act, as they disappear. Which is why we need your help. So basically, Gaia is the Earth itself. You must help me to combat the worm, to protect the wild. The worm is a spirit of ancient evil. I learned it from reading the Book of Chanticleer. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? Ah, <sighs> Adana. A dear friend. And always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety then. She too is fighting for Gaia. In her own way. Define but her own. Do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. My werewolf side. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return them to me. And I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. I would ask you to bury them. 
You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. Soothe their souls and send them to me, so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. But if I put them under the I ground... I if I can. But my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there. But never forget your brothers, brothers and sisters. And sisters. Gaia needs you. Well, greetings Earthlings, my name is Capacity Moon 90 and welcome back to a Werewolf Apocalypse. <sighs> I didn't exactly believe all this chaos would happen because of me. Anyways, I know I got an important role to help Gaia, the Earth itself. I've lost so many brothers, so many siblings. Old Broad Ghost changed his mind. Serious? But how? She was in the back tending to the wounded. It's all my fault. They had a sniper. I just couldn't take him out in time. A sniper. Well, Gaia's warrior, or spirit, I don't know what that was, did mention that... <sighs> I will be meeting them soon. My daughter. Oh, I didn't see this. Rodko must have written this when he lost his sister. Huh? You deserve to rest at last, Prince. Go to Ifen. He's waiting. Ah, Cahal. It's good to see you, old friend. Take care of the care. That's one. Oh, cool. I didn't realize that. They killed Leandra? She was pregnant. They knew it too. The fuckers laughed about it as they did it. What about Xander, her husband? He saw it happen, and they shot him right after. Bastards. Bold and heroic. That's Rodko to a T. My penumbra vision weakens. I must be other. The worm's influence grows even stronger. Those bastards. Kidamona. How could 
could they? Silver. That's what killed her. They had three snipers trained on her. She never had a chance. Kitamona, return to Ifen. The cairn is safe. Thank you, Kahal. Take care of those who remain. did change when he became pack leader. Huh? No, 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 no. Come on, there has to be a soul around here. Hello. Old notes from Ava. Before she created Lambda Mankind. How many did you lose? Kahal, I'm glad you're back. And we lost a lot of good people today. We're lucky it wasn't worse. Though with half our survivors wounded, another attack would be the end of us. My Irish brethren. But that was a lifetime ago. Oh well, looks like I have no choice. I went to see Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rotko, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I don't care. I, I want, want to, to help the Adana, pack. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given into rage and killed one of our kin, Rodgo. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn. So I'll accept your help. Tell me about Adana. Have you trained her? Just as I prompted her. You say that, but she's working undercover inside Endrin's walls. That doesn't sound like your kind of training. Donna decided that she could best aid our struggle through more covert means. It took me some time to come around. But she was right. She's a talented infiltrator, just like her mother. Rest assured, though, Donna's. So what can you tell me about this so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. Then we'll need explosives. You'll be happy to know I didn't come back empty-handed. I'm aware. I met your new friend... Dusk, right? Yes. Give me the explosives you two stole. You've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site, and I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching this stuff, but I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. That should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal. Trust me. I guess it won't give me any options. Oh, wait, settings? Graphics. Oh. So it automatically does that.
Guess there's no way of changing that anyway. Wait, what? Oh. Dusk, my friend. I owe you one. 